I was born in South Africa in Fjernigen. After two years, I moved down to Durban where I've been living for the rest of my life. It's a very like laid back kind of city. It's by the coast and for me, that's home. That's where I'm, I'm most comfortable. My dad was actually very big into sport. He was one of the best runners in the country and he later got into duathlons. And for me growing up when I was like two, three years old, I was growing up alongside him training on the track and there were days where I'd just go and run around the track and do like 10, 15 laps when I'm this super young person. And uh, yeah, definitely like my dad, he inspired me. He, uh, he taught us a lot about the sport. Swimming was there from the beginning. Um, my parents thought that getting into swimming was uh, a very important part of safety because we're around water so often in Durban. And that progressed with me and my brother uh, through our childhood that we got very competitive. Hey, you're looking good, Henry. Come, you can catch Rion. Although he really beat me in the swimming in the early days, he went to two Olympics, so um, he inspired me a lot uh, for me to be able to get to where I am today. I went to watch my brother Rion at the Beijing 2008 Olympics. I just remember watching the 400 IM final where Michael Phelps broke that world record, but you know, the whole stadium was just electrifying from the moment that they dive in the water. And uh, that's my first hand witness of the Olympic Games and it was just truly amazing. For me, I went through a really bad patch when I transitioned from swimming to triathlon and I had uh, stress fractures in both my shins. And it was two, three years where I just really struggled to run. I never could finish those races because I couldn't finish the run because of the pain in my legs. Um, and, you know, from that experience, I just thought, you know, never give up, just finish what you started. And I don't want to have did not finishes anymore next to my name. That's been like one of the biggest things for me is just um, get over that finish line no matter what. To be part of the Collins Cup will be quite an honor. I've heard a lot about it before that it's almost like a grand slam of triathlon and you know all the best athletes come together on this day and uh, to be involved with it one day i can't wait for that when i wear my south african colors and when i put on my south african suit i race with honor like it's the best thing for me when i've competed in the olympic games representing my country that means the world to me. I'm truly blessed to be able to do that. For me, racing individually and in a team race is quite distinct. There's a lot of trust involved. There's a lot of responsibility and sometimes it can put a lot of pressure on you. Like, But I think good pressure because it pushes you to new limits and um, you really test yourself where your body can go to. Me as an athlete, I always want to beat the best in the world. So for me, I think a lot of the best athletes right now are from Europe. So as a team, I'd like to beat Europe. But one day, you know, I want to beat Jan Fredino. He's the best in the sport right now. And uh, for me, if I want to be the best in the world, I've got to beat him. If I were to win the first Collins Cup, that would be amazing. I mean, I've, I've won an Olympic medal. I've won WTS titles, Commonwealth Games champion. If I can win a Collins Cup, it just adds another one of those greats to, to my CV. My message to my teammates, I think would be just never give up. So many things can change in the final last minutes. So, you know, just keep going. You never know what's gonna happen and uh, just give it everything.